it's a NorCal thing. How we like this? We tip bottles for the homies that can't be here. When you when you first started to rap or pick up the microphone, was there anybody in your circle that was rapping, or were you the first one to really be rapping like that? Nah, shout out to some of my cousins. Like they for sure was rapping. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't like they don't rap no more or nothing like that. So like I don't even know if they got a rap name still, but like. There was definitely people around the area, around the neighborhoods that I grew up in that were just, you know, freestyling at parties, whatever, you know. As far as going into the studio and coming out with the album and the things like that, like I said, not really, like, nobody, I think, for the most part, a lot of people never took it really serious like that because nobody ever did it, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> most people, you know, they got out with other shit, you feel me? And, like, they moved out to other cities. And keep it a buck, I know a lot of people that are really from Fremont or they grew up with me in Fremont, but they be claiming other cities, like, oh, I'm from San Jose, or I'm from Hayward, or this or that, but I'll be like, bro, I've known you since third grade, or fourth, fifth grade, you feel me? Like, I've been seeing you around the city, don't try to say, like, I've lived in other cities too, you feel me? But I'm not gonna stamp that on my name. I was born in Hayward, you feel me? Like, shout out Hayward, Kaiser, you feel me? Like, real ones know, like, I was born there, you know what I'm saying? I lived out there too, but I'm not finna put that on, like, that's my city, you feel me? Like, even though I be mixing around in there, and I got family out there for sure. Shout out Hayward. I love Hayward. Yeah, shout out Newark. Shout out Union City. You feel me? Like, those are big, you know, big shout out to them. That's the Tri-City. We all one big family. You feel me? So what is the Tri-City even? The Tri-City is Newark, Fremont, and Union City. Mm -hmm. And anybody that knows, like, where I'm from, I'm from Cabrillo. You feel me? Shout out Cabrillo. Cabrillo's from Thornton to Dakota. Well, then you take Dakota all the way down, and you in Union City. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But if you take Thornton the other way, you in Newark. So it's all connected. It's, it's basically one big ass city, bro. It should just be one big ass city yeah. called Tri City, but then we'd be the biggest city in the Bay. Yeah, yeah. for real. Damn, okay. How's the nightlife out there? Is, I they, mean, they be popping or what? I mean, it ain't popping nowhere in the Bay, is it? Uh, San Jose I mean, a little could, bit. Yeah, San, yeah, Jose, San Jose. You could find some cool little spots. I mean, I mean, I'm not hating on Fremont again. Like, I think there's a little spot uh, in Newark that everybody be going to. I think they call that O'Sullivan's. But yeah, that's. You feel me? I ain't finna say it's popping. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the only really spot that people be pulling up to. I might catch a familiar face at, but it's it's really like keep it a buck. Everybody out there, they you know what I'm saying? They on they grind, they get into their money, and a lot of people, like I said, they moved out. It's gentrification. They got pushed out the city. You feel me? Like back in the days, like uh, the dot com boom mm -hmm. that really came in through Fremont, and you got to think that's a central hub right between San Francisco and San Jose. Like I'm saying, bro. Mm -hmm. So like if you're that central hub. All these engineers, all these people from Facebook, uh, Apple, uh, you know what I'm saying, Uber, anywhere, bro, any of these new apps, they came and moved to Fremont because it's a central place for them. It's an hour to Frisco or it's, or, you know, 30 minutes mm -hmm. to San Jose type shit. And then, like you said, it's not as sketchy, so they didn't feel like it was a threat. And they could still buy houses for like 300, 500, 500,000 at the time. Now you go try to look, it's like a million. That's why everybody thinks it's a rich ass city. But like I said, at a time, there was a lot of different people. It was a huge Mexican population, huge Filipino population. You feel me? It was a very diverse uh, city. Yeah. Okay, I see. So that dot com, that dot com boom, you would say really changed things? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Like I said, we were the. I would think we were the first city to get hit by gentrification before anybody. Mm -hmm. We were the first one to have all these little coffee shops and all these little spots. Like, and I started to see it as a kid growing up because at one point there was times when I'm walking down the street as a kid. You feel me? And there'd be knocks and shit outside for real, like. This is in Fremont, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be like, yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't going outside past him because I'm not even trying to get fucked with as a kid. Mm -hmm. But then you start seeing it as you get older, it's like, oh, these people are starting to move out and get pushed out the city and, you know, starting to get cleaned up. And then you see all these brand new apartments getting built and you see that your friends and family can't afford it. So next thing you know, they're in Tracy, Stockton, Manteca, Modesto, Antioch, you feel me, Pittsburgh. All these people just kind of getting pushed out to the east mm -hmm. and all these other people that are getting paid quarter million, $300,000 a year can afford these places, can pay, you know what I'm saying, two grand a month for a one bedroom, shit like that. Like, it's crazy, bro. It's like, it really pushed people out. Like, even me, I don't even live in the city no more. I represent it, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying, I don't live out there. I'd be out there, grab my little food. Even my food spots ain't there no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of them got pushed out, bro. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So when you were growing up and you were seeing this go on, did you understand what was happening or were you kind of like confused? <clears throat> Nah, like, you. I mean, I don't think anybody really knew what was going on. Because if anybody really knew what was going on, don't you think they would have held on to them houses? You know what I'm saying? Like, check it out. So, like, a lot of people in the city, like, from the blue-collar end of it, you feel me? Like, they worked at Numi for a long time. Numi was uh, at the factory that Tesla's at now. You feel me? It's all been in Fremont. So, a lot of those people, you feel me? Like, when that shit shut down, they, sell, they sold their house, like I said, for dumb cheap. They didn't sell it for a lot of money. You feel me? They didn't sell it for a million dollars, seven, eight hundred thousand. They sold it for three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, shit like that. And that's to keep it a buck. Like that's not really like that's not how we should have been doing shit. Like we should have held on to those houses 
You feel me? Even my aunt, she had a house that we kind of sold for the low, and we should have held on to that because that could have went up for bands now, you feel me? And that's just because, like I said, we didn't know the property value. We didn't know what was really going on. That shit was kind of like, right. it was an unheard of thing. The dot-com boom, like, that was the first of its kind, bro. So how are we supposed to know, you feel me? Like, Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. 